nonprofit's working to eliminate barriers that the growing Hispanic community in our area faces. And the Hispanic Alliance is working statewide to close that gap when it comes to language and workforce challenges, as well as concerns that local artists face. We're joined now again by Tiana Maxwell, who spoke with some leaders and tells us what they're doing to push those opportunities. Good morning, Tiana. Good morning, Shelby, Katie. Yeah, the Hispanic Alliance brings resources to Hispanic and Latino communities across the state. Now an extra $25,000 will be going towards helping cultural artists right here at the Gibbs Museum of Art here in downtown Charleston today. Leaders with the Hispanic Alliance work to expand economic, workforce, and cultural opportunities for the growing Hispanic and Latino community. The nonprofit connects people to organizations through different programs, including one called Allied for Art. Allied for Art is a type of networking initiative that connects Hispanic and Latino artists to different art organizations. The group now has $25,000 in extra funding from the South Carolina Arts Commission to best support low country Hispanic artists. I spoke to Andrew Skinner, the director of public relations and development for the Hispanic Alliance. Skinner says language barriers and financial challenges especially impact these artists. He applied the Allied for Art program rather puts artists and organizations together to focus on access, visibility and professional development. What can we do as a community to to, to bridge the gap in language access to to support visibility of Hispanic artists through through events or, or festivals? Mm -hmm. um, how, do, how do we establish mentorship connections or, you know, a representation on boards that maybe some of these arts organizations? Partners like Palmetto Luna Arts says these opportunities connects artists directly to art institutions for talents to be recognized. Now, I will say that today's Allied for Art or, um, networking opportunity is at full capacity, but coming up in the next hour, I'll tell you what a statewide report digging into these challenges found and artists' next steps in the community. In Charleston, Tiana Maxwell, Life 5 News.